Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome back. Um, Natasha, and this is my gorgeous wife, Debbie. Hi again. And if you haven't noticed, um, we actually have a page name or a, a channel name. We now. do have a channel uh, name. We are the Natasha and Debbie show. That's right. It's tacky, but we went with it. <laughs> um, but uh, we just want to thank everybody for coming back and joining us. Um, thanks so much for all the cool comments. We got a lot of great comments in the last video. We did. Our British Foods Part 2. Uh, part 2. Part yes. 2. Thank you for the compliments on the cookie. Yeah, yeah. She really knocked it out of the park. You know, I was so impressed. Um, I'm always impressed. She's an amazing cook, as you guys uh, saw. And uh, to see her making some of the great British foods that we really, really, really enjoyed. I, I, I could go for a scotch egg right now, actually. Um, but it was phenomenal. So thank you guys so much. Um, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell to get notifications on new videos. Um, as always, we are coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio, United States of America, and our basement. That's right. Low budget. <laughs> <laughs> Low budget all the way. Um, today we want to do something different. Um, we are going to do an actual video. So that's why we're Sitting and I didn't. By the way, she didn't call me to tell me what she was wearing today. <laughs> this was Twinkies. not planned. No one believes me. Nah, I wouldn't believe you either. <laughs> Wasn't planned. <laughs> not at all. Next time, call please. <laughs> Send me a memo. Send me a memo. Um, one other exciting thing, guys. Um, so before I go on here, um, we just created a Facebook page so we can connect with you. Um, so if you want to be part of that and you want to send us some information, like we love to hear what you want us to do, like video ideas that you want us to Yeah. Good suggestions. We're not really good at that. Um, okay. We're trying. Um, so go connect to us on Facebook. Um, it's facebook.com backsplash. Backsplash? <laughs> backslash. <laughs> Why am I the talking one? She needs to do more than talking. Backslash. Natasha and the word and Debbie show. So that's how you find us there. I'll drop that in a, I'll drop that link in the comments section or the description of the of the video here, so you can check it out. So please go like us on Facebook, so we can connect with you with you there. Um, have a better way to, to chit chat and yeah. um, hear your feedback uh, and give us suggestions and just let us know what you Share think. Stories, make friends. That'd be awesome. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna do a reaction video today. Of um, is it twelve things? I can't see it. I think it's twelve things. Um, I can't actually see what the heck it says. Hold on. 12 critical facts about the United Kingdom. So we're going to learn 12 critical facts about the United Kingdom. I'm excited to learn it. Um, there's a lot we need to learn. So we're going to do that. And then I will say, say this next week on Sunday. Next Sunday. Which is September 5th. And if you are a true Queen fan, like me. That guy, Mr. Frederick Mercury, Mr. Freddie Mercury, <laughs> um, it would be his birthday. So we are going to be doing not a reaction video, but a review video of one of my favorite, actually it is my favorite live queen performances. Don't miss that. Don't miss that. That's going to be awesome. So the biggest queen fan in all of America, I'm going to say that's me. Okay. I'm going to be doing, a re we're going to be doing a review video of my favorite all-time Queen performance. That is, as long as YouTube doesn't slap us yes. with a copyright claim. So as as we can get it up. Yeah, we're gonna do our best. We've never done that before, so we're gonna try. We're just hoping we don't get a copyright claim. Anyway, so we're gonna dive into this video and we're gonna learn 12 critical facts about the United Kingdom. So time to learn. Let's learn some stuff um, and see what we uh, don't know, which is <laughs> significantly a lot, know. I'm sure. So, uh, you ready to learn? I am ready. All right, so let's get ready. And you guys will, hey, let us know if you learned something too. <laughs> Probably not, but, um, and if any of this is wrong, you know, let us know. We don't know. We didn't make the video. Yep. Um, we're just, you know, learning from this. So let us know if there's something here that maybe is inaccurate or, you know, if it's a great video. All right. Ready? I am ready. All right, let's go. 
We are finally journeying into the land of the UK, the British nation that has definitely left its mark on this planet wow. and definitely yeah. gonna continue for years to come. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. For the first part of this episode, I'm gonna be taking a look at some historical facts about the UK, how it came to be, as well as clarify some information to give you a better understanding of what the UK actually is. And then later on in the video, we're gonna move into some fun facts. Well, since we are talking about English speaking people, that's a language that I speak. Let me know guys, what language do you speak? The United Kingdom, commonly referred to as the UK, is made up of four countries, England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. The United Kingdom is considered a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary system- Hang on here. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> I hate to admit that I didn't know that. I didn't either. <laughs> but it was just um, England. Really? Okay, I knew it was more than England. <laughs> I didn't know Wales was a separate... Is it a separate country? I thought yes, Wales was part of England. I feel yes, dumb. Sir. I'm sorry. If... <laughs> Let's continue. We really yeah. clearly need this education. <laughs> Let's go back and find out. Of governance. The monarch, of course, is Queen Elizabeth II, and she's reigned since the 6th of February, 1952. Jeez. And the capital city of the United Kingdom is London. The origins of the United Kingdom can be traced back to the time of the Anglo-Saxon king, Athelstan. And early on in the 10th century, he managed to get the allegiance of neighboring Celtic kingdoms. And that's when he began to rule over several kingdoms that previously before, several kings used to share amongst themselves. The United Kingdom is the most recent of the sovereign states States that have been established by Great Britain. A treaty was signed in 1707 that united England and Scotland, and that became a unified kingdom of Great Britain. Great Britain then merged together with the Kingdom of Ireland, which had gradually been brought under English control Irish. for some time. And finally, they formed the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland in 1801. Now, the okay. name United Kingdom Did and Great know. Britain continued Holy. for some time, but in 1927, it was changed to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. This was because of the partition of Ireland. Ireland well, was divided sense. into two separate jurisdictions, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland in the South. And that's when it became the- I'm gonna pause for a second there because I did know that. Um, so, you know, us Americans like to say we're, <laughs> we're Irish, we're Scottish, we're this, we're that. So, you know, we've done our ancestry. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm actually mostly yours, people. <laughs> I'm I'm like 58%, you, you know, European. It's just pretty general. But then I have my 20% of my Irish yeah, DNA that I'm very proud of. Um, but and, and then from what I've tracked in my family tree goes to Northern Ireland. So I would be. Wait, that was part. Northern Ireland was part of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would be British ruled. Um, mm -hmm. Which is cool and not cool at the same time, because, like, I don't know, I mean, I think of being Irish, I think of being Irish, not British. And I, I'm not sure if I'm right, and tell me if I am for those people that are watching, I would think that an Irish man or Irish woman wouldn't be too thrilled to be called a Brit. Don't know. This Probably is just not. an assumption I have. Um, Probably not. Yeah, so, but my, my family would have come from County Antrim, which is north of Belfast, I believe. So that's where I have ancestors. So hi, family. <laughs> I have no money. Don't don't call me. All right, let's go back. Sorry. This is fascinating and beautiful. The scenery is just absolutely yeah, gorgeous. It's just oh, it's I've always wanted to live in a castle. Um, but it's it's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely Castles stunning. Look cold. It's still stunning though. Like that <laughs> they are beautiful, is so pretty. But they look cold. I know. Let's get back to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. So as the name Northern suggests, Ireland. the United Kingdom is made up of several kingdoms, as we just saw. But how can the United Kingdom be a country and at the same time be made up of other Our countries? Kingdom? Well, you see, the confusion happens because of the use United of the kingdom. word country. Let me explain. While the four countries that make up okay. the United Kingdom are considered separate in the minds of the local people, as well as in certain sporting events, mm. their powers for local law and control are actually devolved from the UK. 
In other words, the United Kingdom delegates the amount of control that these countries have. Think of it like the United States. Okay, so all of the 50 states have their own separate state laws. However, they all have to answer to the federal government of the United States of America. Oh, so Except that's in the United Kingdom's case, the countries or the states, if you will, they're identified as distinct national entities. Therefore, that's why the term country is used. However, of the four countries, countries that make up the United Kingdom, England is the only country that doesn't devolve any powers from the UK. Instead, England actually operates directly under the UK government. This is also emphasized in the fact that London is the capital of England as well as it's the capital of the United Kingdom. The term Great Britain refers okay. to the large island that is made up of England, Scotland and Wales. More confusion happens now because the United yeah, Kingdom confused. and Britain are commonly used used as synonyms around other parts of the world. But to make sure that you remember this Hold a little easier. So they're not? <laughs> no. <laughs> I am quite lost. <clears throat> and the whole time sitting here thinking, well, what about the British Virgin Islands? Yeah, don't that's even, that's fault. a whole different, <laughs> that's a whole different video. So wait, is Great, Great Britain and the UK, the like United Kingdom, that's not the same thing? I think we're about to find this out. I'm about to feel stupid. Probably. I thought that was the same thing. Or we already learned it. <laughs> no, I think that's where, well, that's where he's going here, but I always thought that was the same thing. Zero, to keep it simple, just remember this following breakdown. We have the UK. The UK is a country that's okay. made up of the following countries. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Northern Great Ireland. Britain, on Got the it. other hand, is only the body of land that makes up England, Scotland, and Wales. England is just the part okay. of the body of land that the country of England That's occupies. Confusing. In using the term British, it can refer to anywhere in the UK. British people, or Britons, are citizens of the United Kingdom, the British Overseas Territories, and the Crown Dependencies in the Irish Sea and the Balwicks of Jersey. So I hope that brings a lot more clarification of what the United Kingdom actually it's is. It clarifies, clarify what it means when people say Great it. Britain versus the United Kingdom. Yeah, life and geography okay. and history can get a little bit tricky, but that's why you have us here at FTD Facts. So that first part was really technical, so let's move on to some fun There's facts of, of the United facts. Kingdom now. Did you know that at its peak in the 18th century, the British Empire stretched across 20% of the world's surface, and at the time it contained a quarter of the world's total population. The Windsor Castle is the largest royal home in the world, as well as it's the oldest continually inhabited royal residence in Britain. It was built by William the Conqueror around AD 1080. Back in 2001, the British Foreign Secretary Robin Cook declared Chiki Tikka Masala is now a true British national dish not only because it's the most popular but because it's a perfect illustration of the way Britain absorbs and adopts external in Indian <laughs> yeah hold up I always thought that was Pakistani um and I always thought like they're the dish and I don't know what to say now you United Kingdom or Great Britain I'm more confused <laughs> I'm just gonna say the UK I always thought like fish and chips was like the official food you know that's what I would think of, and I love fish and chips. Thank you guys for that gift, by the way. Um, this confuses me, though. I would... Tell us. <laughs> Tell us the truth here. <laughs> um, I always thought this was a Pakistani dish, but I, I, I really... I'm, I'm just confused right now. Um, mm -hmm. A little bit, so. We need some clarification from you folks, and we know that you guys are good at giving us uh, the info, so um, let us know, because I really thought... I mean, I would think... Fish and chips, but and he said he just declared it yeah, like I also recently. Think of fish and chips as being Irish. I don't know where you get that from. I don't know. Northern okay. Ireland. Ireland. <laughs> I'm a little fuzzy of you. Okay, so I'm just. Let's see what he says about it anymore. It's a little Influences. So yeah, that's Britain's national dish, not tea and crumpets like some of you guys thought. The national anthem the for the United Kingdom crumpets. is called "God Save <laughs> the Queen." God yeah. save they play it well. Which, if he doesn't already say it in a second, I'm going to ruin the video and say this if he doesn't. He better say it. We stole that from y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> and made America the Beautiful. Insane. We stole the music from you. If you don't know that, I found that out years ago. I don't know how I, most Americans don't know that, but yeah. we did steal that music from you guys. Sorry, I didn't do it. But our song America the Beautiful 
is the exact music of this God Save the Queen. Yep, we just changed the lyrics. Yep. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't do it. This is fascinating, though. And that is because currently right now there is a queen as the monarch. Now when the ruling monarch is a man, the lyrics change to God save the king. Okay guys, so you see this clock right here? Whoa, That's whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on Big Ben. They changed the lyrics? You changed the lyrics from God save the queen to God save the king? Well, I never knew that. No. And that shocks me. No. I mean, it makes sense, but... Huh. We should change it for whoever's... Hmm. In charge. I mean, that's just surprising. Okay. Big Ben it is. Look, kids, Big Ben. <laughs> National Lampoon European Vacation. Bad ben, reference. right? The Big Ben only refers to the bell on the clock. This what? is Big Ben. It's a bell yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and a half ton. Big Ben is a nickname for the Third great time. bell of the clock at the north end of the palace in Westminster in London. Big Ben is often used to identify the whole entire clock anyways, but in reality, Big Ben is just mm -hmm. the bell, guys. Britain is pretty unusual in the sense that it has an unwritten Not constitution. Consistent. Now, what does that even mean? Unlike a large majority of the countries on the earth, there's no single legal document that sets out all the fundamental laws on how Britain should work. It's been suggested that the British constitution can be summed up in these eight words, and I quote, what the queen in parliament enacts is law. That means that parliament, using the power of the queen, when they enact a law, no one else can change that. But with all that said and done, that wraps up this episode of FTD Facts. Thank you guys so much for being here and being awesome and supporting the show each and every single week. And let me know your feedback down below. If you are British, feel free to also jump in and All share right. any more. Well, that's fascinating. So I guess they can't have like, you know, 5,012 amendments to their law. Yeah. Um, wow. There's so much there to unpack. <laughs> um, and I learned a lot. But there's there's a lot to unpack, so I'm still I got to go back and watch that again on the whole um, Great Britain United Kingdom thing. Mm -hmm. It's a little it's just a little fast, a lot of facts really quickly, you know. Um, get back over here on my side. Yeah, I'm glad um, they did the maps and the circles. That was so helpful. Um, so helpful. But I I did not know Wales was a different country. No. Um, I thought that was part of England, just a different you know like Cornwalls is a part of England, yeah, like Scotland was. Involved. You didn't? No. I'm not really good on my history and geography. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> Sadly, a lot of us Americans really aren't that great on it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just fascinating. I, I want to know about the chicken tiki masala. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. I still mm -hmm. don't think... I, I just... I'm not... I mean, I guess they, they named it that as the, the, uh, the official dish. But, I mean, I don't know. Talk to us about this. There's a lot of mind-blowing facts, but again, looking at the castles, the scenery, it's just such a beautiful place that I would love to see someday. Um, but it's fascinating information. And the, the Queen Parliament, huh? Sounds easy. I'm sure it's probably not as easy as it sounds, that that's all it takes. Um, definitely a lot more complicated here, um, for sure. But um, uh, yeah, so that was a great video. I'm very helpful and beautiful. Um, really like the scenery. I'd like to see more of that. Um, what did you learn? What was your big takeaway? Just Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of it, the different parts that uh, incorporate the United Kingdom, including all the little islands all over the place. Um, yeah, it, it, that was still mind boggling and Hopefully I'll get it here soon. <laughs> we have to watch it again. Sorry. We have to watch it again. Um, it was just a lot of information very quickly, but um, it's just fascinating to me. I wish there was a little bit more like actual history though. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, Maybe we can do that. Yeah, we can always look at that yeah. in the future. Um, but uh, this was a good one. Um, a lot of information. Uh, it, it was sad though, seeing um, the Queen and Prince Philip yeah. at the end. Um, God rest his soul. I can't remember how long they were married, but good lord. Okay. I think it was over 70, I may be wrong. I think it was over 70 years. Um, but just seeing her and him and then seeing her walking and just, I, my heart goes out to her. Uh, 
it's gotta be absolutely devastating to be alone. But, uh, well, anyway, our heads are kind of reeling a little bit. It's a lot yeah, of information for us, but uh, <laughs> we took that in and we'll get it. We'll get it right. We'll, we'll wash it back and we'll make sure we understand it a little bit better. Yes. Um, but I still say, I say fish and chips is the official dish of the UK. I'm sticking with that. And I hope that doesn't upset anybody. I didn't think it was tea and crumpets. I'm like this guy thought. Um. <laughs> then that's what I've heard from a lot of people though, that the fish and chips over there are just amazing. Oh, I, I can't imagine. Never yeah. taste anything like that. Yeah. Anywhere I mean, else. We have good fish and chips here, but meh, it's hit or miss depending on where you go. And I think it's funny that we do call it fish and chips. We don't say, you know, by we, instead of saying chips, we typically say french fries or fries. Mm -hmm. But we never say fish and fries. No. Ever. Always fish and we chips. always say fish and chips. So um, it's just interesting how we picked that one term up from you. Right. And then we just... That stayed around. Yeah, that's, that's about all we did. But uh, anyway, we, we hope you guys liked this video. I hope you learned something. Um, we got to go back so we can learn more. <laughs> Watch yeah. it again. Um, but we hope that you enjoyed this one. Um, it was good to see you. We hope that uh, you'll watch next week with us uh, to commemorate what would have been uh, Freddie Mercury's birthday yes. on September 5th, as long as YouTube allows us to put the video up, that is. Um, but we'll be doing, again, my favorite, again, biggest queen fan of all time, my favorite live queen performance. And it's not going to be what you think it is. You can guess. Guess in the comments. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, that'd be interesting. Please don't forget to uh, to to subscribe to our channel, uh, like our video, share it with friends, family, yep. uh, your neighbors, coworkers. Check us out on Facebook. Oh yeah, and that's again Facebook.com. The Debbie, the Natasha and Debbie show. It's actually not the. It's okay. Facebook.com backslash. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that part because I don't want to say it wrong again. Facebook.com backslash Debbie and Natasha show. So please come like our like our uh, page and we can, we can interact with you guys better and yeah. get more ideas from you and, uh, you know, we can learn about each other and all fun stuff. So watch us next week. Thanks for watching us today. And, um, you know, time. drop a line in the comments. Let us know that you still want more content. Okay, let That's us know right. you still want more. Say we want more yeah. if, if you do. Okay, we appreciate it. And, um, yeah. yeah, until next time. We'll see you then. Bye, guys. Bye.